You know what I'm sick and tired of? I'm sick and tired of some kind of website or company that try to take advantage of the traffic that Zack Snyder got going on when it's something dope and they write some kind of bad article so everybody can go to their website and check out their crappy article story. And you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah, you do. I'm not gonna say your name. <laughs> I'm not gonna say your name. You big dummy. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fader J, and I'm back like I left something, and I'm glad you're here. You're going to want to watch this video all the way to the end because Variety, a weak punk site that everybody think is so grand scale, put out a dangerous, weak tweet trying to take advantage of Zack Snyder's traffic for Army of the Dead, which is a great movie, by the way. But before we get into that, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, Make sure to hit that notification bell because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes me feel oh so good and oh so swell. Also, in the description below, make sure to join that Ninja Patreon because it does so much for my channel, gives me better equipment, and then I always go back into the channel. And when I get enough people, I'm going to give back to you as well. Free stuff in the mail, like free shirts, Posters, all that joint. So thank y'all so much for joining. And also in the description below, make sure to back and support that Ninja Blast manga by yours truly. Fatal J, everything is getting wrapped up. I'm shipping at the end of June. And I'm telling you guys, this baby here is going to be a serious bad boy. Page by page, dope art and dope story. Thank you so far. Thank you so much so far for supporting that comic book. Now let's get into some DCEU. Before we get into the news about a uh, variety hating on Zack Snyder like the snakes that they are, and will probably Warner that was behind that. Matter of fact, I bet it was Warner because Warner do not want to see Zack Snyder succeed at all, especially when he over over there at Netflix doing his thing. But let's check out this news right here. Very interesting, and I think it goes along with the topic we're talking about today. Now, this is a rumor. But it could be true with this new merger that's going on with Discovery and HBO Max. Let's check it out right here. It says DCWB could be sold to Disney joining Marvel. Let's see what it says right here. It says DC Comics, the DC brand, and WB could actually become a part of Disney and Marvel or at least come under the same umbrella at Disney. And speculated now, it is reported that the new company formed out of the merger of Warner Media and Discovery, possibly known as Warner Discovery, may end up getting sold to Disney, Apple, Amazon, or a big tech company where Netflix also probably can't be ruled out. The CNB re reports. A big indicator one of Discovery like would be sold comes from the fact that billionaire John Malone agreed to relinquish his Discovery voting shares to merge the company with Warner Media, the report states. Now check this out. This is what Malone had to say. Malone agreed to turn in those shares for common equity because he wanted to give a combined Warner Discovery flexibility to sell itself in the future, most likely to a deep pocket technology company like Amazon or Apple or another media behemoth like Disney, according to a person familiar with the matter. Now, I remember, and a lot of people don't like Ethan Van Scriver. I, li I like Ethan Van Scriver. He's pretty funny. He going against uh, 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 the big companies out there. He doing his own thing, got his own IP with comic books and stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't like him. I know they don't, but I respect his hustle. And he been saying this for the longest, and people never believed him. Stuff like DC Comics. DC Comics is going to be pushed to the shelf. Things like uh, a Warner owning the DC films that might get sold itself. And I think that's what's needed because the people that's behind Warner right now, these people are snakes, man. And they just mess with people for no reason because they are scared that their little ounce of power is going to be gone. It's sad stuff, man. But Warner, you don't know what to do with your movies. Zack Snyder gave you guys the alley-oop. 
All you had to do was slam dunk it. Give us a Justice League 2. Announce a rumor all out to the internet that Justice League 2 is coming out. You, you, Wonder Woman 3, Wonder Woman 2 was a buzz. And you guys was talking about Wonder Woman 3 is coming soon. That stuff is whack, man. So I think it will be better if the DC films go into another company. Now, I'm afraid that it might go to Disney. And I'm going to tell you guys why. If DC films goes to Disney, that means you got this big powerhouse that has the two biggest companies under their umbrella, which is Marvel and DC, and you will not want that. And I'm going to tell you why you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that because... The movies are going to become stale. When you have competition, when you have competition between two companies, you have to pump it up so you can beat the other ones. Competition is great, but when everybody is playing for the same team, stuff don't come out right. It looks whack. People don't get motivated. So I want DC Films, I want the GCEU to possibly go to another big company like Amazon or Apple or Sony or Long Nose Lights, Universal, but I do not want it to go to Disney. You guys let me know so far in the comments below, what do you think, what company do you think DC should go to? This is really happening though. Warner has dropped the ball, you freaking losers out there. And now we're gonna be talking about what happened with Variety and what they said to Zack Snyder. It was oh so foul what they did. So disrespectful and tasteless. Let's check it out right here. So of course, everybody was pumped up Saturday. Everybody was just so hyped Friday about Army of the Dead. Hashtag Army of the Dead. It was trending. People going crazy. People watching the film for the first time. People watching the film for the second time, third time, fourth time. I'm on my second time. Well, not now, I will admit this. When I first watched it the first time, I was like, mm. I picked it the second time. It got better to me. I'm going to peep it one more time because I like how this movie is changing to me. It's very different. And I'm not too big on zombie movies. Now, I did like playing Resident Evil games back in the gap, but I've never been too big on zombie movies. But this piqued my interest. The story was kind of different. So it's getting dope every time I watch it. But. I want you to see what Variety had to say in the midst of all the trending that was going on out there. Let's check it out right here. Check this out. They say, Zack Snyder's, now this is a tweet on Twitter. Zack Snyder's first swing at a household name property was a Superman movie. And while Man of Steel looks gorgeous, is well cast and filled with eye-popping visuals, it seems to lack any heart associated with the iconic character I'm going to read that one more time. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Check this out. Man of Steel, hashtag Man of Steel looks gorgeous. It's well cast, filled with eye-popping visuals. It seems to lack any heart associated with the iconic character. What the freak? Does Man of Steel has to do with Army of the Dead? And why the freak did you wait it that long? Why did you wait to this exact moment to start speaking on that movie and hating? And this is the thing about it. They knew they freaked up. They knew they messed up. I knew I didn't like this magazine variety. But check, they tried to clean it up. Watch, watch what they did. Train his hands at a notori notoriously unadapted watchman. Unadapted. Zack Snyder was lambasted for trying to shove a series worth the plot into one unwisely film. Luckily, the look and feel of much of the project is a dead ringer for the iconic text. Unadaptable, which means it shouldn't have been adapted. They still hating again, you dumb freakers. Why are y'all hating? They want to pay y'all to write this article? And if Warner motivated you guys to do this. You weak to go against this man and hate on him when his film just came out. Who does that? Who the freak does that? Watch this. They wrote another tweet. If you go to see just one movie this year, hashtag Army of the Dead might not be the ticket. 
Not because it's the best movie of 2021, but because it's a stylish, grandioso, muscular, but conventional popcorn pageant that's got something for just about everyone. May not be the best movie of 2021. Still shooting darts while trying to congratulate him or trying to be nice. What the freak is wrong with these people? What the freak is wrong with these people? Last tweet. Let's see what the last tweet they had to say. These tweets all happened on the day that Army of the Dead dropped on Netflix. Let's check this out. A 3D animated family film based on a best-selling book series, hashtag Legend of the Guardians uniquely distills Zack Snyder's vision in a different medium. So they had something nice to say about his 3D film, which is a dope cartoon animated film, but you had something you had something nice to say about his animated film, but didn't have nothing to say nice to say about his live actions. Variety, water, that's why your companies are going under and about to get sold off and they doing all this merging because y'all can't get it together. The CEOs, everybody out there are incompetent, incompetent people. You had a golden goose on your hand. You should have took the hype from the Snyder Cut. Gave us the bad flick movie. Say another Justice League 2 is coming out. People would have ate that up and made you billions. Why do you hate Zack Snyder that freaking much? Jeez Louise. I can't take it no more. You guys let me know in the description below. Why do you think Variety said these bad things about Zack Snyder on his uh, uh, drop on the internet, drop on the Netflix with Army of the Dead. Was they paid out by Warner? Or are they trying to get the traffic? Or are they being honest and trying to tell the truth about how they feel about Zack Snyder? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. Hit that description below, join that Ninja Blast, support that Ninja Blast, and join that Ninja Patreon. Thank you so much, and guess what my friends? Ninja Vanish. The time for talking is over. It's time to push buttons. 